Picture this, you're in the middle of cooking dinner, your hands are covered in flour, and suddenly you need to set a timer, play your favorite playlist, and send a quick text. Who's got your back? Is it Siri, Alexa, or Bixby? Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're settling the score in the ultimate voice assistant war, Siri versus Alexa versus Bixby. But before we get into the battle, I need to know, who's your go-to? Drop a comment below and tell me. If your team Siri, comment Siri. If your team Alexa, comment Alexa. And if your team Bixby, comment Bixby. Let's see which voice assistant has the most loyal fans in the house. Now, let's be honest. These voice assistants aren't just tools anymore. They're like that one friend who's always there when you need them. Whether it's Siri cracking a joke, Alexa turning off your lights, or Bixby reminding you to call your mom, these voice assistants have become a part of our daily lives. But the big question is, who's the best of the best? Who's the smartest? Who's the fastest? Who's actually helpful and who's just there for the vibes? In this video, we're putting Siri, Alexa, and Bixby through the test to see who comes out on top, who wins, and who flops. Stick around because this is about to get good. Let's go. Round one, the contenders, who are they? First up, we have Siri, the original voice assistant that started this whole trend. If you own an iPhone, iPad, MacBook, or even an Apple Watch, then Siri is already your default sidekick. It was launched in 2011. Siri was the first AI voice assistant that actually made us feel like we were living in the future. She's fast, she's sassy, and sometimes she can be a little too nosy. Ask Siri a simple question like, tell me a joke, and she's out here trying to be a stand-up comedian. But ask her something complicated, and she might hit you with, here's what I found on the web. Like, girl, I could have Googled that myself. But in terms of speed, Integration with Apple devices and privacy, Siri is a solid competitor. Now, let's talk about Alexa. If Siri is the Apple queen, then Alexa is Amazon's powerhouse. Unlike Siri, Alexa isn't just on your phone, she's in smart speakers, TVs, and even your refrigerator. If you have an Echo Dot, Echo Show, or Fire TV, then Alexa is basically your personal assistant, DJ, and home controller all in one. Need to turn off the lights? Alexa, turn off the bedroom lights. Want to order pizza without lifting a finger? Alexa, order me a large pepperoni. Alexa is brilliant at smart home integration, and she's probably the most useful assistant when it comes to controlling devices, shopping, and automation. But when it comes to personality, meh. She's not as sassy as Siri, but at least she won't hit you with, here's what I found on the web. And then we have Bixby, Samsung's attempt at joining the voice assistant race. Bixby was supposed to be a game changer, but instead, it turned into that one friend who tries too hard to be helpful, but just ends up annoying you. If you own a Samsung phone, chances are you've accidentally activated Bixby at least 10 times while trying to adjust your volume. And no matter how many times you disable it, it somehow turns back on. Bixby is actually powerful when it comes to controlling Samsung devices. Unlike Siri and Alexa, Bixby can deeply integrate into your phone system, letting you do things like turn on dark mode, open apps, and even edit photos just by using your voice. But let's be honest, Bixby still struggles with natural conversations and doesn't have the same level of intelligence as Siri and Alexa. Samsung users, I feel your pain. Round two, battle of the basics, speed and accuracy. Okay. Now that we've met our fighters, let's get into the real fight. When it comes to speed, Siri is fast, but Alexa is faster when it comes to executing commands. Ask Alexa to set a timer, play music, or tell you the news, and she barely hesitates. Meanwhile, Siri might take a second to think, because, you know, she's classy like that. Bixby? Well, Bixby is trying. But when we talk about accuracy, Alexa actually wins here. She understands accents better than Siri, and she rarely mishears commands. Siri? Well, if you have a non-American accent, good luck. And Bixby, you could be screaming the command into the mic, and she'll still say, I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Round three, smart home control. Who runs the house? If you want to control your smart home, Alexa is the clear winner. Alexa connects with thousands of smart devices, from light bulbs to coffee makers. Siri does the job only if you're using Apple HomeKit devices, which are limited. Bixby, only useful if you have Samsung smart home products, which most people don't. So if you want a fully automated home, Alexa is your best bet. 
Round four, personality and fun factor. Now, this is where Siri shines. Siri has jokes, sarcasm, and even an attitude. Ask her, Siri, do you love me? And she'll hit you with, I respect you. Alexa, she's the polite one. She is helpful, friendly, but not exactly hilarious. Bixby, well, let's just say she's still working on her social skills. If you want an assistant that feels human, Siri is the closest thing to a digital bestie. Round five, the ultimate survival test. Can they handle the chaos? All right, we've tested speed, accuracy, smart home control, and personality. But now let's throw these assistants into real life chaos. You see, it's one thing for an assistant to answer simple commands like, what's the weather? Or play some music. But what happens when we push them to their limits? The multitasking challenge. Let's assume you're cooking dinner and your hands are covered in flour, and you need your assistant to set a timer, play a podcast, and send a text all at the same time. Alexa handles it like a pro. She's built for multitasking, so she sets the timer, plays your podcast, and sends your text without breaking a sweat. Siri, she tries, but let's just say she prefers doing one thing at a time. She might pause your podcast just to confirm your text. Bixby, um, if you're in a rush, just do it yourself. The loud room test. We've all been there, TV blasting, people talking, and you need your assistant to hear you from across the room. Alexa, no problem. She's designed for far field recognition. Even if you're in another room, she'll still catch your command. Siri, works well if you're holding your phone, but across the room, good luck. Bixby, if you're whispering in a quiet room, maybe she'll respond. At the end of the day, if you need an assistant that actually listens, multitasks, and handles real-world chaos, Alexa wins this round, no contest, the speed under pressure test. What happens when you rapid fire multiple requests? Alexa, she keeps up like a pro, answering quickly and executing multiple tasks without missing a beat. Siri, she can handle it, but expect some, hold on, let me check that moments. Bixby, she, well, sometimes she keeps up, other times, she just pretends she didn't hear you. So, who's really the best? Okay, so we've thrown everything at these assistants, speed tests, accuracy, personality, smart home skills, and even real-world stress tests. Now, let's break it down once more. Siri is great if you're deep in the Apple ecosystem and you want an assistant with personality, but not the most powerful. Alexa is the clear winner for smart homes, multitasking, and overall reliability. She's fast, accurate, and listens well, even in noisy environments. Bixby, let's just say Samsung users deserve better. The final verdict? If you own Apple devices, Siri is good enough, but Alexa is the real MVP when it comes to being a true digital assistant. And Bixby, maybe in a few years she'll catch up, but right now, she's just trying her best. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to what you need from your assistant. If you want the smartest, go for Alexa. If you want the wittiest, Siri's your girl. And if you're just really loyal to Samsung, well, Bixby's there for you, even if she doesn't always understand you. So, what do you think? Which voice assistant runs your life? Are you team Siri, team Alexa, or team Bixby? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I want to hear your experiences, your struggles, and even your funniest voice assistant fails. And before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon because we're just getting started. You don't want to miss what's next. See you in the next one. Bye.